Marcus here uh, from How To Project. We're gonna take a look at episode one and offer some bonus tips and tricks, if anything. So let's take a quick look together. Great, getting started. Okay. Okay, something here that I see is, uh, so you can log in with Google. Um, for example, How To Project is using a, a Gmail server, so you can log in uh, with Google that way as opposed to just your, your standard email and password login. Uh, also, something important to note here is single sign-on. So if you're part of an enterprise organization that is using, say, corporate Gmail servers or Exchange servers, uh, then it can, Teamwork can be set up to accommodate your internal security policies and you may not have to log in at all, uh, which is fantastic. Let's continue on. Okay, another thing to keep in mind here is depending on what uh, plan you are on with Teamwork, you may not have access to the entire suite as demonstrated here. You may only have access to one of the platforms. If that's the case, you'll automatically be logged into that particular app as, a, as opposed to being presented with a choice like you are on the screen. This is also where you can go in and change your work hours, which I've already done here. Now again, just to specify, working hours is not time tracking. This is not your hours worked each day. This is actually what your company has scheduled for you to work. Uh, not something you should be changing per se. Um, you can, it's a relatively new feature. What I'm hoping is that it becomes an administrative controlled feature. If it's not already, we'll have to double check that. Um, the way we could actually double check that right now, let's go take a look. So we could go into uh, one of our teamwork accounts here. Let's actually go into this teamwork account and see if we can't quickly find someone to impersonate that is not an administrator. Because um, if we can do that, then we can pretty quickly determine whether or not... Um, yeah, so let's go in here. We will impersonate Carol. and see if it allows us to uh, determine her hours. Okay, so it does. So hopefully this will be something in the future that's actually locked to admins um, because I feel that it would be really, really good to be able to um, you know, not be changing that on the fly for people. So, okay, let's continue on. I don't have an office number, nor do I have a cell phone number that I need for. Okay, uh, cell number is really important nowadays. Um, the reason for that, you'll see it in the information, it's partly because uh, Teamwork, you have the ability to set up reminders on tasks and you can either send email reminders, which is great. Uh, what we like to do internally is if the task is still not being completed on time, then you can send a uh, SMS reminder or you can even send mobile push reminders, which is where it actually shows up on your home screen. So we make it a corporate policy internally to fill out your cell phone number uh, and we recommend for all of our clients they do the same because it makes you available when needed. Uh, of course, don't abuse it if, uh, if you're looking at this from the managerial side or else people aren't going to want to give you their number. Okay, moving on. And I'm also going to head over to preferences and this is where you're going to make sure all your notifications are coming through. So. There's actually a ton to unpack here. Um, very important, if you want desktop alerts, great. If not, that's okay too. That's just like any other notification you get in the bottom right um, that pops up for you, similar to how Windows does it here and shows you all your notifications. Um, a couple of other things that are really important to note here is this project report email. This is an email that is generated every morning and sent to you that shows you what tasks uh, are important for you today, what you have that's late, what are your upcoming milestones, what big events are going on today, like who's on vacation, uh, etc, etc. Um, there's some options with that. I actually prefer instead of by project to do it by date. That's the way I like to work. But again, you can choose this yourself and you can even just say how many uh, days you want to include for upcoming tasks just to get your mind on um, you know, what's coming on. And of course, you can choose time of day for, for when you want this to go out. I want to make sure that this tab right here is on because that way if you do open a message and you haven't yet gone to it, you don't know, forget about it. And even more importantly, uh, alert me when I forget to notify people when I comment. Yeah, like if, if you're working on a task and you're collaborating with your team members and they're not aware that you're trying to communicate with them, then that's kind of a fail right there. Which is very helpful. 
It is very helpful. So your API token is actually for use for a lot of third-party integrations uh, for any custom development work that's done internally that requires um, your specific and unique API token. Generally not something you need to be too aware of as, as a regular user. Uh, mobile apps work on iPhone and iPad as well as Android. They have been rebuilt from scratch as of the time of these videos and they are fully robust. Um, it's incredible. I, I use them more than I use the web app. Um, they're, they're fantastic. The teamwork app. It should be doing right here. Okay. Okay, I know it took her a while to remember it was howtoproject.ca, so I'm just going to skip through some of this. Okay, so yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, thank you, Savannah. Great introduction, and you hit almost everything I would have covered myself, so very well done. We'll see you on the next episode.